Hussein Shalayan is such a master of fashion special effects that you come to each of his shows humming with anticipation. <laughs> this one is called Airborne. The possibilities seem endless. I think it's amazing the way he manages to humanize those uh, technological tricks of his. Yeah, definitely. I think the way he does it is he makes the dresses very beautiful, very flattering. I mean, yes, you had the opening one with the special LED effects, but in general, they were very soft, they were very feminine. You can just tell that he really loves women's clothes, and he makes them as interesting as possible. But the main thing is they make the women look beautiful. It's not about the technology. I love this fabulous sense of suspense that, you, that you've brought to fashion now, that people are sitting in the audience waiting to see what you're going to do to clothes on your catwalk. It's about sort of, uh, for me, it's a, it's a journey of, of, of discovering new ideas, it's this curiosity or this need to know and discover. So I think it's that, in a way, it's a bit like if someone's enjoyed a piece of writing, I think readers will enjoy it too. Because he's kind of got this reputation as fashion's mad, you know, boffin, it, uh, it sometimes obscures the fact that he actually makes, he does actually make women look very, very pretty. Yeah, very pretty and very comfortable as well. I mean, you see a lot of clothes on the catwalk, so the women just look in pain and they can barely walk and this, they really float and they just look, they just look really nice. I think there are loads of those dresses, obviously, that probably won't be buying off the peg. But of the ones that are, I thought they were really pretty. It was the same as last season, I thought the same thing. There were those kind of magic tricks he has with the raising up and down of the hems, but at the end of the day, it's about making really beautiful clothes. I want you to tell me how difficult it is to top yourself season after season when you're working with the same. I'm not sure I do, and I don't know if we do in general. He comes to me and says, you know, the, the, the things that inspire him at the very start of the season. And then I propose to him an environment to try to help make people understand it. So that was the winds of the seasons? This season, they were one of the least comprehensible climatic effects, tornadoes, the least manageable of all climatic things. We actually just saw a tornado recreated on a fashion catwalk. Yes, you did. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> you're not in Kansas, no, you're in Paris City. <laughs> the notion of airborne is so loaded. I mean, you, you can spin it a number of ways. In a way, it was about appropriating the weather and climate and about reacting to it at the same time. I think the way that he co-opts all these other disciplines to amplify his message, which is fashion. I think he's sort of an alchemist. He has all these ideas and then it somehow turns up in a bunch of frocks that go down the runway, but they're great frocks. And weirdly, they're on trend. They've got like mixed patterns and prints and it's got the volume, he's got all of it. But he doesn't think in trends. He doesn't come from that. It comes from a totally different place. And that's what's so wonderful about these clothes. You know what? He had all the tricks. He was just, he's such an architect, isn't he? Sculpture, he had exactly what he does great. Well, but then, you know, the beautiful clothes, soft, feminine, I just loved it. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And I loved the fact that we can buy it this season because there was so much to actually um, get hold of. You take these ideas, but you bring them back to fashion. I think for me, it's about an idea, uh, but ultimately, I enjoy clothes. I think I, may, I like seeing these things resonate on clothes. He took a bow. He took a bow. He's never done that. That, to me, is the most extraordinary thing, that he finally felt confident enough to come out and be acknowledged.